ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ नाइन ऑफ जुलाई 2022 एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू मस्ट ओनली रिमेंबर दी वन से बाबा डू नॉट रिमेंबर एनी बॉडली बींग डोंट स्पीक अबाउट और लिसन टू एनी थिंग वेस्टफुल only things of knowledge question what warning does the father give all the children answer children since you belong to the father don't ever forget the days of this godly childhood do not perform any sinful acts having made a promise to the father never leave him if you forget the father maya will make your happiness disappear and your intellects will then continue to be distressed you will continue to be afraid you will continue to perform sinful acts and your intellects will be locked therefore since you belong to se baba you must constantly remember your childhood song don't forget the days of your childhood om shanti Did you children understand the meaning of that? You children are sitting in front of Baba and you know that you have now become his children in order to claim your inheritance through Brahma. You also know very clearly that you are the eternal children of the incorporeal supreme father, the supreme soul. You are now sitting face to face with Baba. Because of being far away, some children forget Baba. When you see your friends, relations and gurus, the things of this childhood are forgotten. Those who are sitting here face to face would not forget these things. We are claiming the inheritance of heaven from imperishable Sri Baba. This is a matter of great happiness. Sri Baba has made us belong to him in order to make us into the masters of heaven once again. We are the masters, but by taking rebirth, we have become the masters of hell. Once again we are to become the masters of heaven. You understand that Sri Baba, the one who is incorporeal, has entered this body. He gives us Srimad and says, "Remember me, Sri Baba, the incorporeal." He says this to all souls because he is the liberator for all. liberator means the bestower of salvation he only grants salvation to human beings not to animals he is the liberator and the guide for human beings he is known as the knowledgeful and blissful one you are sitting here personally and so your intoxication rises Baba knows that when you children return home you forget Maya makes you forget Here you do not have any sage holy man or lokic relation in your intellect You now have the parlokic relationship Se si Baba enters this one and gives us the inheritance of heaven The incorporeal one 
definitely has to enter a corporeal one. He says, long lost and now found beloved children, you have come once again in order to receive the inheritance of heaven. You are asked, what is your relationship with Siv Baba? You say, we are his eternal children and then we are the corporeal children of Prajapita Brahma. Because we continue to take rebirth. Not all of you would be his children in your next birth. Do not forget the days of, his, of this childhood. You are the grandchildren of Sib Baba and the children of Brahma. You have come here once again to claim the inheritance of heaven. You are now in hell. You are at the confluence. This is such an easy matter. Even the old women can imbibe this. Do not forget this. However, there are many who forget this as soon as they go outside. They forget throughout the whole day. The same happiness does not remain. Then they say, Baba, I know what happens. In fact, you children should have limitless happiness. The Father makes you into the masters of heaven. So what more do you need? By forgetting him, you become afraid and distressed and you continue to perform sinful acts. That one is not a guru etc. He is the true father. The father sits here and explains to the children, You belong to Sib Baba through Brahma. This one is Baba and that one is also Baba. There are so many Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. Whom do you receive the inheritance from? From Sib Baba, he is the creator of the new world. You are now sitting here personally in front of Bab Dada and so he explains, Children, do not perform any sinful acts. When new ones come, they are asked to make a promise. Do not forget me. Maya will repeatedly make you forget. This is why the father is explaining and warning you. All the children hear this in the Murli. They would understand that Baba is sitting in Madhuban in front of you children and explaining in this way to them as well. You know that Maya repeatedly makes you forget this childhood and that your intellects become completely locked. When a soul experiences super senses joy, he becomes very happy that he has now found Baba. Baba now liberates you from all sorrow because he is the bestower of happiness. He is the liberator of all human beings. It is not that you have been taking 8.4 million births. It is not a question of hundreds of thousands of births. This is the cycle of 84 births. You understand that it was your kingdom 5000 years ago. 3000 years before the Christian clan started, there was heaven. No one knows how it later became hell. The father sits here and explains clearly. There is no question of scriptures etc. If you think that this is wrong and you have some doubt, then go away. However, Sib Baba is your father and Brahma is also your father. 
Vyase Baba says, I enter the body of this Brahma, make him my child and then adopt more children through him. I teach them and make them into the masters of heaven. You were the masters of heaven. You are now the masters of hell. You see that you are sitting personally in front of the father. We children have a right to the grandfather's property. You must definitely become pure. A soul cannot fly without becoming pure. They simply tell tall stories when they say that so and so has gone to the land of Nirvan. Or that the light merged into the infinite light, not a single one has gone home. All the actors have to be present here. Until destruction starts, they have to remain present here. Souls continue to come down. The war will start when souls stop coming down. By the time your kingdom is established, everyone will have come here. The father explains all of these things very well, but you forget. So many forget and divorce me. Good children who had sacrificed themselves to the father used to cry when they would leave here to go to do service. However, when they went out there, they got into the company of the residents of hell. And so they forget everything. The father gives you warning, children, do not forget the days of this childhood. You must remember once the Baba. You must not keep a photograph of any Guru etc. A photograph cannot be taken of incorporeal se Baba. Baba now teaches you to perform good actions. No one else can teach such good actions. You are now becoming elevated. Even if you leave your bodies, you will go and do elevated service. Because it is your stage of ascent. Everything depends on each one's effort. Baba still says, you are personally sitting here face to face. You are able to remember what you listen to here, but you forget everything as soon as you go outside. There are also some who listen to wrong things and repeat them and gossip among themselves. If they don't have knowledge, they speak about wasteful things to one another and spoil their heads. Baba has come to take us back. Baba says, if you remember me, you claim a high status. This is why you should not listen to any wrong defamatory things about others. Only listen to things of knowledge. The Father is known as Heavenly God the Father, the one who establishes heaven. He is God the Father of the world, only the incorporeal one is the Father of all human beings. You who have become Brahma Kumars and Kumaris belong to one religion. Later on, the number of religions increases. In the golden age, there is only the one deity real religion. Everyone will be beautiful. The features of those from different religions are different. The innumerable religions will now be destroyed and the one religion will be established. You are changing from impure to pure. Remember that your enemy Maya is very powerful. By listening to anything wasteful, 
anything other than things of knowledge you will move away from baba and you will end up in the cottage of sorrow baba explains again and again that your business is to tell them the way to claim the inheritance from the father baba has explained that you should put a board that asks what is your relationship with the supreme father the supreme soul the writing should be very good people get frightened as soon as they hear the name brahma kumaris so you should write with great tact they will receive bab dada's introduction when they read the word surely an inheritance is received through the corporeal se baba is the one who establishes heaven muslims speak about the one who establishes paradise you have now become his children never forget such a father maya is very powerful this is why baba says do not forget the days of this childhood all our children no matter how eminent a person may be baba would still say to that one maya is your great enemy baba explains do not speak of wasteful matters you say mama and baba so follow them and claim a high status beloved children remember me and your burden of sins will be removed otherwise there will be great suffering then at that time you will feel it deeply the feeling at the end is as though there is suffering over a long period souls go back when all their karmic accounts are settled you will continue to have visions of all of that acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 do not forget the days of your godly childhood by being influenced by bad company never listen to or relate wasteful or wrong things or gossip among yourselves only speak about things of knowledge second so everyone the way to claim their inheritance from the father follow mama and baba fully and claim a right to a high status remove your burden of sins by having remembrance of the father blessing may you be a spinner of the discus of self realization and end all your questions by keeping the knowledge of the time in your awareness when the children who are spinners of the discus of self realization see themselves they automatically also see the world cycle those who understand the significance of the drama are constantly happy and can never have questions such as why or what because they are benevolent in the drama and this time is also benevolent those who look at themselves and become spinners of the discus of self realization can easily move forward slogan to serve many souls truly have pure and positive thoughts for others om shanti invaluable versions of mateswari ji the more attention you pay to knowledge yoga and dharna the more you will continue to progress you have to put these things in your practical lives with the reward of this imperishable godly knowledge you receive immortal happiness 
this is called happiness of the deities deities had lives of happiness in a practical way it isn't that they had studied the scriptures when they were brahmins they had received support directly from the god of the gita so could we then follow scriptures written by human beings we are experiencing godly happiness in a practical way now we have moved away from the world of sorrow and come into a world of happiness that world of sorrow has now gone away earlier we were in a world of happiness which has now finished so we then went into a world of sorrow and we have now come into a world of happiness where we will stay in happiness for 21 births and then come into sorrow quickly we will gradually come down this world of sorrow is now going to go away for all time there now has to be super sensuous joy and although there will be a lot of obstacles from maya in this those who have full faith that the old world has gone will not have the slightest slightest stress of sorrow if there is any trace of it you can then understand that there is definitely some forgetfulness our godly knowledge is not just for listening to but you have to imbibe it and bring about some difference in your life we have found this right path now however do not think that you have taken god's lap and so that so that is enough you cannot have full attainment by doing just that much you have found god to show you the path of effort you now have to walk along that path and create your godly life in a practical way this is true happiness many people ask the question since both souls and the supreme soul are eternal why is god called the creator why is god called the father and souls the children you can explain definitely the whole world believes that god is eternal and the question cannot arise from him who created god no in fact souls are also eternal and imperishable but people of the world think that souls are a part of god and so they are also god in this way they consider both to be eternal this is their opinion but we have to come to know from god himself that god is our father and that we souls are his children first comes the father and then the children are created although both are eternal God has received the part of making souls his children and giving them the inheritance. We claim the inheritance of happiness, peace and purity from the Father because souls have lost their inheritance of happiness and peace. So they have to claim it once again. Through this account we say God the Father has a relationship with souls as his children. However otherwise god is the father and is himself the ocean of happiness and peace he has full knowledge he himself is the restorer in this way we would also call him the father since we call him the father there are also definitely the children by him being called the father it proves that there are also the children if it weren't for god who would give to us since there is someone who gives there are also we who take so the parts of both are separate although the forms of souls and the supreme soul are the same god is called knowledgeful he has received the part of creating where his souls are his creation acha Om Shanti